Hello, it's Snowbun in my car, and I just wanted to make a video on what it's like for me to travel with my parents. I mean, of course, there's the good, the bad, and the obvious. I'll start off with the bad, is that at times it was kind of stressful being, being with my parents. There's a generation gap, there's... A language barrier um, and while traveling I feel like if it's not an all-inclusive thing which even then it would be a little stressful it was stressful because like my mom has always been you know you like your you and your sister are old now and you guys are traveling so why not take us on vacation like how we took you on vacation when you were younger and so my me and my sister were like okay fine you know we need to hang out with our parents and we get to travel so we'll just book it our way and then our parents will just come along and we'll just all be one big happy family however it doesn't always work out the way that we planned or we imagined because we had booked this trip knowing that my dad really wanted to go to Europe or my parents both really wanted to go to Europe we've never we've all never been before and so we we got the flight and I guess our first mistake was thinking that we don't really know where we're going to be going so it would be relatively easy to get flights to and from places or countries uh why we can just we don't have to think about where we're going to start and where we're going to end we're just going to get a round trip ticket from Rome and this was not a good plan because we were traveling to and from places but we had to come back to Rome spend more traveling time like in transit to get back to where we were gonna go to get back to the US when we could have just planned it from like oh we're gonna go from Rome to Barcelona so we'll get the ticket to Rome and then back from Barcelona so we wasted a little bit of time there and then also traveling with my parents they have a different, I guess, traveling style than me because I'm very, and I think a lot of people my age are, are able to utilize our phones and the internet a little bit more, but also I can see that it, there's a downside because I am spending time looking at my phone instead of where I am talking to people there. Um, and so I had told my parents, you know, like I'm I don't want to talk, I don't want to ask people for directions because I'm just used to getting the answer by myself on my phone. And my dad was like, you know, things that took people 10 years to learn here, you could just ask them and it would just take a couple minutes to find the answer. Whereas if I were to use my phone, it would take a lot longer. And answers from a local, I think, are probably always better than spending twice as much time on the phone asking other tourists and then trying to like come up with a consensus of all of the answers that are available so i think that was probably my biggest thing and once i told my parents that they kind of understood because they were always like why don't you just ask that person why don't we ask this person where we're supposed to go and i was just like hold on <laughs> let me do my thing and also and I think this is a little disrespectful because it's like, I don't want to do it, you do it. But, you know. Uh, so that was kind of... And then also, like, they wanted to go on tours. or At least my mom did. She is a very... She's, she gets the work done, but then my dad is the one who also understood that, you know, like I had planned this trip with my sister as well as my partner, and we had, we kind of like had an idea of where we're going, and basically my mom and dad are just like, I thought I was a fly by the seat type of person, or like go with the flow, but they are like traveling with them in this way, not like on a tour where somebody guides you. I understand that my parents are very, very able to do anything. Like they are not, they might have some hesitancy in going to a new place, but they obviously know how to survive in a different country. Like they've been doing it for 30 plus years now and they've navigated so much and there's so much for me to learn from them, which I did on this, on this trip. 
So I guess that was the bad thing. But the good thing with traveling with my parents is because they're my parents, you know, like they are the ones who raised me. They have done everything for me from infancy up until now to make sure that I got the best of, you know, education, food. So they know how to take care of me. And I'm very used to them taking care of me. It's not like somebody who wants to do nice things for me and I'm like, I don't know you and I don't know what your intentions are and I don't like it like that because they've done it the way they have and that's how I've grown up. So I'm very used to them cooking. I'm very used to my mom like trying to pack my things and trying to like organize my stuff. Even though I don't like it at times, it's so nice for me to feel so tired at the end of the day, like trying to figure out where to go, travel, talk to people who don't speak the same language as me. And then at the end of the day, my mom will, because she's like this worrier, she like knows how to prepare. So she'll pack my shit. I've like taken everything out, all the chargers on my underwear, my clothes, and in the morning when we need to like leave early, she's already done everything for me and I am so, so, so appreciative of that. Um, I'm so appreciative of them cooking, utilizing the Airbnbs that we're at and of course felt like I had done a little bit of research on where to eat because it's just like I'm traveling and I want to have the best of what is available to me. It's also really nice to grow, go to the local grocery store and just cook with the stuff that is in that place, like in that country. Like I, I actually feel like I'm living there, even if it's just like for one night. So it was really nice with that and they could definitely cheer me up when I was very tired, jet lagged, we're all very jet lagged. And hopefully I did the same, which also leads me to my last point is that traveling, I, I've never really traveled by myself, but traveling with people is sometimes eh, because everybody, the group kind of needs to figure out where they want to go together. So one person might want to go here or another person might want to go there, but then you'll have to decide where as a group to go unless you, you want to split off, which I don't think really was a choice for us, although we did split off at some points it was nice to see how they I guess traveled like how they navigated the systems there like what streets to go where how to ask people where the grocery store was or like my dad will wake up early in the morning and just like want to walk around and stuff of course it's also a very big bonus when my traveling companions are not just friends or like people part of a program but it's my parents like I in this life that I'm living I would want to spend time with my parents and do something for my parents and this opportunity to travel just coincides with hanging out with them so it just counts towards that time so that is how it was when I was traveling with my parents in Europe for about two and a half weeks or two weeks and yeah, I guess that's it. Whoa, it's already 12 minutes of talking. Um, until next time. Không có sao đâu, mình á, mình smile cái kiểu nào là mình đang tỏ là cái đó là Dollar, who we are, we're just being honest. Oh. <laughs> Được rồi.
Mẹ cho Belinda Mẹ cho Belinda Thôi Belinda cười đó mẹ sao Không có sao Belinda cười mẹ là Belinda không có giận mẹ Phải không Tại vì biết mẹ dễ thương